Hey children, welcome back to the vlog. Here we are, Rye Phipps little model page. We're here at Mirror Image Customs. I told you uh, a couple episodes ago with the Gladiator truck that we're gonna do some modifications to it. So this is the place, they're one shop stop. <laughs> one stop shop. She's got it. <laughs> and they're gonna do everything that I want to the truck. So we're gonna take you inside, uh, get you guys to meet Andy, the owner, and he's gonna tell you guys everything that they're gonna do. So let's go, guys. <laughs> So this is my buddy Andy, he owns Mirror Image Customs, and this is his shop. So he's gonna tell us everything that he does to vehicles and boats and all that kind of stuff. So Andy, what do you guys do here? All right, so uh, we do a little bit of everything. So we do paint protection, uh, full vehicle color changes, um, you know, we work on motorbikes, trucks, cars, boats, houses, everything, a little bit of everything that wrap can involve in. Um, we do window tint, uh, ceramic coatings. Yeah, pretty much anything, one-stop shop for any customization or protection for a vehicle. All right, let's go uh, take a tour of the shop and show you guys around. School of hard knocks, where I'm from. So when I get a drink, I go dumb. Got a lot of swag, been stored up. Couldn't let it out, been caught up. What you talking about, I ain't this. Struck down the street, go so fits. Give my man a pound at the door before the whole club gon' get scorched. Thought it was just a dream. Best I'd have never seen. Playing on the greatest team. Just I myself and me. I got that new thing, new style, new walk. I got that new vibe, new drip, new talk. Okay, so it's shop tour time with Andy. All right, guys. <laughs> Tell us what you do. Uh, so this is something that we just finished or almost finished. This is an X5M, full satin black. Um, no door jams on this guy. Door jams are an option. We do do jams as well. Um, just an added cost. Uh, it's yeah. pretty difficult actually to change it over well it's not diff well it's uh, they're always difficult yeah. but this is one of the craziest ones you do is going from white to a black vehicle right that's right yeah drastic change you have to make sure that when the vehicle's closed up obviously that you don't see any white or any of the existing color through it yeah not, you know some people don't care some people care but because when you know. i first looked at this vehicle and you told me it was it was white underneath i had to do a double take because <laughs> there's no no white on the outside yeah. of it yeah, you definitely got to hunt to find where you'd see a little sliver of white but we try and do our best to cover everything right and make it seamless so. yeah that's cool and you also do race cars here right we do yeah, yeah. so we have show me your race cars over here actually we got old big g here <laughs> Big G, she is gone, going to Toronto, yeah. getting all unwrapped. She's getting basic. Yeah. <laughs> She's basic. Pumpkin spice latte right there. Yeah, we do lots of these cars actually. We do a handful of these every year. Um, they're radical SR3 is what they're called, little high boost engine in the back. Um, they track these out at Area 27, so every package is a different color, different combo. You know, it's kind of up to the owner's discretion on what they want. Uh, so this one's in its beginning stage, used vehicle, got unwrapped, and now we're going to rewrap for the next client. So. And that's pretty cool over there, that little bug. I yeah. love that one. <laughs> and that's yours. Yeah, that's my long-term project. Yeah. yeah, but this was your first bug you ever had, right? First car ever. Yeah. First car first you car ever had. First car I ever built. Um, it disappeared from my family. Actually, it was in my family's whole life. It disappeared from the family for about seven years, and then I bought it back last year. Last year, yeah. That's so, so cool that you found the same one. Again, right? right, yeah. And then this is what I was building in lieu of that. Now <laughs> I got that back, so this one's So is this for sale? <laughs> Are you They're all for sale. No. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Might get to that. Oh, too cool. So this one's a lot different though. It's five inch rooftop, two suicide doors. And it's gonna have no fenders on it, so it'll be pretty neat. Crazy. Yeah. So, okay, so the main thing that you guys do here is well, vehicle wraps, that's the big thing. Yep. And then also the X-Coat or Ceramic Pro, right? Yeah, so X-Coat's a, a clear coat rejuvenation. So it melts and softens the existing clear and then re-levels, uh, basically giving you a new paint job for a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. um, it takes away like swirls, scuffs, fading, that kind of stuff. Obviously dings and chips, and that's what it is, right? That's part of the vehicle without repainting the whole car. Mm -hmm. That being said, the product itself and the process is an overnight process and starts about 750 and goes up from there. 
So a lot cheaper than a paint shop for what you get. Mm -hmm. so. And then what about Ceramic Pro? What's yeah, the difference so, between that? Yeah, so Ceramic Pro is a essentially like a thin layer of glass that would go over the vehicle's surface. So once the vehicle's corrected, like this truck is ready to go, um, you lay the product on, and then depending on what package the customer goes with, it either gets two layers of the base coat or four layers of the base coat. That's the protective layer. Mm -hmm. And then the next layer on top is the hydrophobic, which is what everyone wants that water beating up and nothing sticks to it. And then, That's the sexiness. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. And then the protective layers for, you know, you go through a car wash or a brush hits it, it's not gonna leave those brush marks in the paint. That's so cool. The yeah. drip factor. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the drip factor. So guys, fun fact about me, I come from the tire industry. So while Ryan was at work today, I took the truck down and I got the winter tires that I really wanted to be on the truck, especially because I'm probably gonna end up driving it most. And I've never, gone a winter without studded tires so obviously I had to get studded tires um, my favorite brand for winter is gonna be Nokian uh, they do all their testing up um, on ice lakes and things like that so they have good quality tires and I've never been stuck even I used to drive my 350 through the whole winter and I would pass big trucks no problem they get stuck and I just cruise on by so anyways, I got some Nokian, they're the light truck LT3s, um, uh, Hakapalita, and they're new for this year. Hakapalita 8s are this year's model for the passenger and cars, but the LT3 we needed for this guy because it has pretty big um, OE tires. And these ones are going to be a 275 70 17 and I believe that they're even a 10 ply, if I'm uh, not mistaken. They're eight ply, they're a C, so they're an eight ply. Yeah, I'll let you know if I uh, slip or get stuck this winter. All right, so in the last Gladiator video, I told you a little bit about the mods that I wanted to do to it, but now Andy's gonna uh, point and let us know exactly what's gonna happen, because oh, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna tell you what's actually gonna happen to this thing. Sounds good. All right, well, first of all, we're gonna take all the red accents and we're gonna change them all to orange. So we're gonna take the tow hooks, the decals on the sides, and then the Jeep on the back. Um, we're gonna do some pay protection, so it protects this lovely color. We'll do probably a half kit up the hood and across the front end. Um, just protects for winter and stone chips, things like that. Um, we were gonna do some on the flares, but there's already some there from Jeep, so good on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll take the logos here, change these to orange. We'll see what we can do with that. Maybe we'll try and do some orange in there. Yeah, and then we're also gonna do a full ceramic pro package on top of everything as well. Um, Again, it'll be the base layers and then the top coat, so it'll make Ryan's vehicle all protected and ready for the winter. Yeah, this one will be in the fleet for quite a while. It's the family pickup truck, so we want to have that Ceramic Pro on the vehicle so it'll last a long time and keep this thing looking brand new. Yeah, and less maintenance, so all he'll have to do is rinse it, dry it, keep on going. So there's no digging and scrubbing on the vehicle's paint, which keeps it nice exactly. for a long time. So. No uh, Canadian pinstriping down the side <laughs> of it when we go 4 by 4 Exactly, exactly. With too much heat, she got my flat jack slipping. No matter what I do, she wanna scramble legs. 3 a.m. and the pot's still stirring. For all I know, she wants him until the morning. Going round and round till she gets away. Alright, I'm back picking up the Jeep Gladiator. Andy's all done. He worked his magic on it. How'd it turn out? Alright guys, uh, it came out fantastic. Um, we did all the film and the, the ceramic coating on top. Um, it's like a sheet of glass now, so the thing will always look perfect and protected. And Ryan can uh, use and abuse it as he pleases. It's like a Zamboni, like, smoothed it over and it's just golden. Yeah, it looks like glass. Looks like glass. So we did a few other modifications when you're we here at Mirror Image Customs. We added some Amp Research Power Steps. Uh, my buddy uh, GTR Auto out in Alberta, they hooked me up with that. So very, very happy with how that turned out because in the spring, I'm gonna add some 37 inch tall tires and that's gonna make getting in and out of the truck that much easier. Uh, little model page is gonna be very, very happy about these steps. And we also added some rock blocks mud flaps in 
cool orange, my kind of colors. So that'll help keep the truck clean and it just looks really cool. Hi yeah, guys, so it, uh, it came out really good. It looks like a Baja truck now. So I appreciate all your business, Ryan. Thanks for bringing it by and uh, yeah. No worries, enjoy it. You're, you're the best in the business, <laughs> buddy. Uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> the awkward handshake. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so if you guys need window tint, paint protection, uh, full vehicle wrap or ceramic coating, this is the guy, hit him up. Mirror Image Customs, they're top notch, man. You can't get a better job than this. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs>